Hello everyone, this is Donna's Whimsical Treasures and today I want to share with you what I've done with a playing card, a piece of decorative paper. In this case, this is a piece of rice paper. I think it's from Temperia. And uh, since this is used for journaling, in my case, I have a piece of paper with lines on one side. These are the three things you'll need for what I'm going to show you now. These are some of the ones I've made. And they turn out like this. Sorry for the glare. These are some seed beads on top. The paper I showed you on here, a word. And on the back, the area for journaling. And I made a few of them using different things. This one has some uh, miniature flowers and some sequins. And this one I just used a little bling along the edge. This one I put some fun little fibers here along the edge, some flowers, a charm here, and I used this little clip and these you can find in Hobby Lobby in the sewing section. And on all of them I sewed the edges. And on the other side I put a piece of paper so it could be used for journaling. Same on this one. And I like to put little beads with the charms. This one I used the Prima. And a little flower here. Sewed the edges some music paper along the edge there and I highlighted this one with a pink ink and these with it's called Momento Coco ink and this other one really cute that's a queen of hearts and I and I love the fact that some of the card comes through so that you can still see where you started so you if you look well there you can see the queen and then I put some paper, music paper along the edge and the word wonderful here and these Prima crystals here. And this one I used pearlized Mod Podge and this is the finish it gives you. It's like it washes it a little bit away. So and it leaves a pearl finish. I put a flower over the top and this one was mostly flowers in the scenery. And these three little florals in the bottom. This one also was with the pearlized. You'll see that the different ones is, this is the regular Mod Podge finish. This one is with the antique Mod Podge finish. And this one's with the plain Mod Podge finish. And with the plain and with the antique, you still can see, you can make out that this is the Queen of Hearts and that this one has a five of spades, which I like a lot. The one with the pearl eyes, you can see that that's the Jack of Hearts, but it's a little more covered. So it depends what look you like. And if you do like vintage with the antique Mod Podge, it gives it, according to how much you put on, how many layers, this is only one layer, it, it gives it that vintage look so you don't have to do too much work distressing it. This one has um, the regular Mod Podge. It says happy here. It has music paper and some washi on it. And as you can see it's a nine of diamonds. And it's sewn also. And then I put a little stamp here. I think it says a penny and a half over here. And some of them have a little angel in the background. This one I did a little different. This one's with the vintage look. This background originally was white. And that's, I'm telling you just so you have an idea of how the vintage Mod Podge looks. Once you put it on, this is only one layer of it. This one does have a layer under the paper and a layer over the paper. And then so I used uh, the pin. I put some fibers. And those fibers are iridescent fibers like these. And what I do is I just unravel it and it gives it, and I got those in Michaels by the way, and then it gives you that look 
where you have those fibers fan, fanning out, which I think I liked a lot. And then I cut a piece of fabric and hung it from the pin and a bow and a flower. And over here you can see more of those fibers. I think they look really cute. And on this one I put a little more. You can see them fanned out over here. And uh, a thin lace here, little rose. And this is uh, a dragonfly. So I thought that would look really cute. And it does. And some buttons here and some lace. And over here also I fanned it out so that it would give that iridescent look to it. And I hope it's picking up. So those are the ones I decorated. I did a few more. These are undecorated in the sense that I haven't added anything on besides the Mod Podge. And this was with the vintage look or it says antique on the bottle. And what I did was I put the rice paper, but you can put any paper you have. The thing about the rice paper is that it's so thin that it lets the numbers show through and the features of the card with the hearts or whatever it may be which I like that. Right here you see that that's a two still and that's because the rice paper is so thin and then I've covered it with the vintage Mod Podge but that doesn't hide either what the original look was which was the playing card number two. So I like the combination of all of that together because you still can enjoy what the integrity of the first state of that card. See how you can see the ace of spades, how the spades are coming through. And this is the three of spades. These were both done with the vintage. So that's really nice that you can get that look. Uh, where did I get the rice paper? I got it from um, the Facebook group from Archana Josie's, um, I think it's called the uh, Paper Hub. And I'll leave a link below anyway so that if you're interested in any of those papers that she has, this is rice paper, it's not the regular papers. And so if you're interested in it, and look at the thinness of it. It's, it's like, and this is what it looks like in the back where it doesn't have the image so that you can see. And that transfers through once you use the Mod Podge. Those fibers that are running through the paper, you can see it in certain, uh, some of the cards, you can see some of it. So you have the image on top, but then you have all of this going on in the background. And it still lets the, the numbers of the cards show through, which adds a nice look to it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.